<laughs> Discover where the wild things roam, uncaged. Because the mountain gorillas are so endangered, and because the forest can be dangerous, the only way to see them is by going with an expert. Hey, looks like we're in. As you can see, mountain gorillas are large and robust, with long muscular arms and a massive chest. The male silverbacks can reach up to six feet tall and weigh almost 650 pounds. Now that's a big boy. A typical group of mountain gorillas will have about a dozen animals led by the dominant male silverback, who makes all the decisions. How do gorillas spend most of their time? No, they're not gardening, silly. Eating. Better walk that off now. Have to keep a good figure. Females only give birth to one baby every couple of years. Born wide-eyed and ready to learn, the babe stays close to its mother as it begins to walk and eat on its own. Mother and infant gorillas have a very close relationship. She is very protective of her newborn, and the male usually stays away. At first, the mother is always holding the infant, carrying it around and letting it ride on her back. Mom spends most of the time grooming and looking after her baby. It's not until about three years of age that the little gorilla is weaned and ready to go out and become the next king of the jungle. These little gorilla babies are a lot like very hairy children. Did you know that gorillas actually share 98% of the same DNA as humans? That means we share a whole lot in common with these gentle giants. Even though the Virungas are a nationally protected forest, there are still deadly poacher traps and human diseases that put the gorillas' lives at great risk. And with less than 700 mountain gorillas left in the whole world, we can't afford to let another one go. Mountain gorillas have never survived in a zoo. That's why it's so important to keep their forest homes from being destroyed by land developers and farmers. Global communities are now pooling together to help save these highly endangered animals. Which is why there are organizations like the Diane Fossey Karasoki Research Center and the Mountain Gorilla Veterinary Project, all formed to keep the mountain gorillas healthy and alive. 